Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to scribe baseboard to a floor. Uh, you could use this method for scribing trim to anything, really. So uh, it's pretty simple. Let me jump right in. So I've got this piece of baseboard here that I'm ready to install, but you can see here it's wobbling. There's a little bit of a hump in the floor, and actually this board has a little bit of a curve to it. So there's a couple ways I can do this. The first is to use a compass. So you basically set this to the height of the gap and then run it along the whole way. Now, if you're gonna do this, you wanna make sure that the gap is even on both sides. So to do that, I'm just gonna use, I've got um, like a metal ruler here that I'm gonna kinda stick in and set it down on one side and then see if it fits on the other side. It's a little bigger there. And you kinda wanna get it pretty close. And then you gotta set your compass to the height of the gap so that it doesn't make a mark on the outsides and it only makes a mark in the middle, if you know what I mean. So that's a little too low. So I'll adjust it up a little bit like that. Try it again. I'm not how, sure how well you can see that, but there's the pencil line right there and it kind of dies off as it gets to the end. Now a lot of times I won't even use the compass to scribe with, I will just use a pencil. So let me show you how I do that. I do the same thing where I get it where I want it so that it's even on both sides. And then I just use the pencil to do the same thing. I hold it right at the point where it's uh, not touching the wood and then glide it right along like that. Okay, so all I'm doing is holding the pencil and kind of like, you know, adjusting it to be where it's got to be and then using my finger against the floor to kind of act as my compass. See what I'm doing there? So now I'm going to go out to the table saw and I'm actually going to freehand this because you can't run it against the um, guide or it would just cut the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we got to freehand this. All right, make sure you got your eye and your ear protection. And I'm just going to run this by hand and kind of follow that line. And now we'll go check and see how it looks. And if we have to adjust it at all, we will. All right, so we are pretty close. Still a little bit of a hump right here. So I'm gonna take a little bit more out. Now, if you don't have a compass, you could actually just use a block of wood on the ground and put your pencil on top of it. Uh, if you can't hold the board or if it's a little long, it's too hard to do, you could stick like a toothpick or a shim under each side that will hold it up um, to just keep it in place for you. You could also use like a brad nail and just tack it in place to hold it while you're doing it. Um, so there's other ways to like hold that thing there if you're worried about that. As far as cutting the actual wood, if you're not comfortable doing what I was doing on the table saw, um, basically I'm just guiding it with my left hand and pushing it through with my right hand and kind of like easing on and off. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can use a hand plane or I have an electric hand planer too that you can use. Kind of does the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. It's not wobbling anymore. It's touching the whole way. It's good to go. So that's basically it. Hopefully that helped you. Uh, a couple little tips for how to scribe to the floor. This works really good on tile as well because you can scribe it to the um, grout lines and everything like that if you really wanted to get in there. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos and I'll see you on the next video.